previously on Dallas. If I can get my mother declared dead, I'll inherit her shares of Barnes Global. Take a look at this withdrawal slip. The handwriting's exactly the same. Christopher, your mother's alive. We know what you're doing here, Governor. Colluding with Harris Ryland and Cliff Barnes to destroy Ewing Energies. We stick with the plan. We take Cliff down by taking his company. If getting Barnes Global is the key to getting Cliff, then my mother's not the only Pamela we need. It's your father. He was behind the explosion on the rig, Pamela. Your daughter is on the rig. Just do it. <laughs> my father killed my babies. Put Ramos on the rig job. I want him fully compromised. No one was supposed to be on that rig. What the hell did you do, Drew? Who did this to you? I promise you, you won't tell anyone. Okay, I promise. It was Harry's Ryland. I found these. You more than anyone should know what it's like living with my father and grandmother. I also know the damage those can do. Throw them away. I don't need them anymore. The loan committee got nervous, so we sold the loan. You sold it to whom? Love a good fire sale. Unless you can get your hands on $200 million within the next 24 hours, I will own you. I've been searching my father's files from right before the explosion. I need to find something. To make him hurt? But there isn't anything. Yet. How do you know we'll find something? <sighs> because I know. Fathers and daughters. Kind of a push-pull dynamic, isn't it? I mean, you're trying to get yours back into the fold, and I'm trying to atone for my sins. <laughs> Not doing a very good job. Speaking of family members, I should think there's enough zeros in there to get your trucking company back from your mama. She's a tough old bird, or so I've heard. Yeah, but that broken leg is taking its toll on her. She's got it in mind to retire now. Hmm. Well. Maybe with her retirement and you putting the Ewings out to pasture, you can have a little peace of mind. Well, it reminds me, next time you see our governor, you tell him when it comes to re-election that I'll be there for him. Appreciate what he did with Tesha. Not to mention running that pipeline up the Ewings' ass for you. <laughs> Eminent domain. And who said that Latin was a dead language? You know, technically, you haven't seized the reins of Ewing Energies yet. Don't worry about that. That bank loan is coming up due in 24 hours. How the hell is that family ever going to come up with $200 million? They're pumping no oil, they've got no cash reserve, and no bank would touch them. Yeah, but just remember, those Ewans are a persistent bunch. I watched them go after me and my Emma like a pack of wolves. You just never know what they might do. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to finish the bloody marriage, and tomorrow at high noon, I'm going to waltz into Ewing Energies with my daughter by my side.
I just talked to Bum. He still hasn't been able to locate Ken Richards. And we need him so we can turn the screws on the governor, get the oil turned back on before Cliff takes over the company. Well, we're coming up with dead ends on Ryland, too. Every one of his trucks that comes up from the Nuevo Laredo is clean. Joe, you know, he's anything but clean. Ain't that the understatement of the year? I got access to my father's personal computer files, but there's nothing in them. I'm sorry. Another dead end. Where you at on finding your mother? You told her about that? I'm here, Christopher, because my father has blood on his hands. You can trust him. <laughs> my mother's been signing and cashing Barnes Global Dividend checks for the past several years in Zurich. Hopefully, the investigators will be able to find her soon. How will she help you with my father? She owns a third of Barnes Global. What, you didn't know that? No. No, my father never talks about it in Pam. Yeah, well, I'm looking to get my hands on her shares. Did he ever give you any? No. Yeah, surprise, surprise. All Barnes thinks about is business. That's all he cares about. So it's gonna be his business that brings him down. She's been fighting me all day. Not with her. With you. <laughs> Nothing. Emma, talk to me. About what? Let me help you. I'm fine. <sighs> Is this about those drugs that you found in my room? They were legally prescribed, and I gave them to you anyway. Okay, it's about that, yes. But it's also about how you've been acting the last two days. Missing riding lessons, meals, sleeping all day. Disappearing all night? I didn't know I couldn't have any fun. You're not having fun. You're falling down a long, dark hole. And when it happened to me, there was no one there to catch me. But I'm here. And I'm strong enough for both of us. hour now. Cliff's putting the screws to us. And now John Ross, he decides to bring Pamela totally into the fold. I had to tell her about my mother, the shares, everything. John Ross and Pamela deserve each other. You just watch your back. Yeah, I will. What's this? A Ryland red file. Another pile of nothing. I'm gonna go check in with my dad. Knock-off designer goods? I swear, I didn't know what the cargo was. I, I just wanted to make some extra cash. What the hell did you do? Knock-off designer shoes? This is what you were transporting from Nuevo Laredo, isn't it? This is why you didn't want me to go to the Ewings after Harris Ryland beat the crap out of you for dating Emma. You were working for him. Yeah, they Listen to me. I lied for you. How about you start telling me the truth for once in your damn life? His name's Roy. He's Ryland's first lieutenant and my handler. Did you know he also runs a storage facility in East Dallas suspected of being a drug drop? I know the place. I didn't know anything about any drugs. No, you mean you didn't want to know, right? It was just show me the money. It's a job. You, you take the job. It's don't ask, don't tell. Spoken like a stupid mule. 
Did you know Ryland may be hooked up with the Mendez Ochoa cartel in Nuevo Laredo? Drew, are you listening to me? All I know is that cargo I got busted for down in McLennan County must have been worth some weight. Because Roy, he, he said I, I owed his boss big time, and if I didn't... He did what? Do what? Keep driving for him? What? Blow the Ewing ring. I knew it was only going to be a matter of time before I tell you. And once the Ewing's connected right into the explosion, well, blame has a way of trickling down. You built a bomb? For Ryland? He promised me there wouldn't be anyone on the rig. That planning the bomb would just cause some embarrassment on the Ewing's and, and, and give his boss an edge on a business deal. Oh, true. I swear, I, I've gone over and over it in my mind. They try to blame me, but they set it off. I know it. How? Joe, how could you do such a thing? They said they would kill you, Ellie. Bullshit! No, they, do you know what Bullshit! kind of... Bullshit! You're a liar! Hey, do you know what kind of man Rylan is? He made his daughter watch while his men beat me. You don't think he would have made me watch while they killed you? There was no way out. There was no way out! People got hurt, Drew. Two unborn babies died. Christopher's babies. I've been running in circles since I realized it was Ryland trying to figure out a way short of blowing their heads off to stop them from hurting any more people. You have to turn yourself in. The Ewings, they, they will be smart enough to see you were the only credible link linking Ryland to the sabotage. If your testimony can prove a criminal conspiracy was at play, I think maybe the Ewings will help you. But you will pay a price, Drew. Just don't be stupid. Making lunch. Do you want a sandwich? Not hungry. Is something going on? When she lived with Harris and Judith, they had her on tranquilizers. She gave them to me. Told me she didn't need them anymore. But she's addicted. Oh, Annie. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do? Right now? Just give me a hug. Bobby, I need to talk to you. Where is he? Well, his truck is still in the driveway. Check for his bike. Helena, I understand your brother's connection to Roy Vickers, but to do Ryland's bidding, to build a bomb? He didn't know Ryland was Roy's boss at the time. What is that? It's the deed to the land you sold back to us. You signed it over to me along with his half of Ramos oil. Bike's gone. Along with his Glock and some ammo. What is it, Dad? Drew's full confession about what he did and for whom. All right, I'm going to call Derek. With this, we can get an arrest warrant for Roy Vickers, but I don't think we can convict him unless we find Drew. Do you have any idea where he'd go, Elena? No, I don't, I don't know. You know he can't run from this. I told him that. I begged him not to. I told him it would only make things worse. You got that right. Okay, thanks. 
That was Uncle Bobby. He said that it was Elena's brother who sabotaged the rig for your father and Harris Ryan. There's a man on out for him right now. You expecting somebody? Hello, anybody home? Ah, uh, Dad, what are you what are you doing here? Well, I'm just gonna celebrate and oh. take my little girl out to lunch. Why do I have the feeling you already started without me? Well, you know, I'm just counting down the hours until we eat up Ewing energies. Oh, how do you spell hallelujah? H. <laughs> A. L. Spell it any damn way we want to spell it. <laughs> What's the matter, Princess? You barely touched that food. Too excited about tomorrow, I guess. Well, I've been waiting for the right time to give you these. They belong to your Aunt Catherine. She willed them to me with the rest of the Wentworth Estates. They're exquisite. Well, you deserve exquisite, because you are my princess. Are you going to try them on? I want to, but... I didn't do all this. Christopher Ewing Energies, the babies, for an heirloom. And Catherine also left you her shares in the company. I want to be your partner in Barnes Global. Oh, I think you've had enough champagne, don't you? You don't need to patronize me. If there's one thing losing my babies taught me, it's that life is far too precious to continue trying to earn your love and respect. If I don't have it by now, then I guess I'm never going to have it, am I? You already have it, ma'am. In spades. And give me my due. Give me what came with this. My Aunt Catherine's shares. Do you want a partner or not? Well, hallelujah. What? The explosion of the Ewing Energy methane rig injured at least a dozen people. The ensuing investigation resulted in a billion-dollar fine handed down by the oh, Texas Environmental Safety Governor, you seen any of this? Now there are indications I stuck my neck out on Tesla, keeping this negligence verdict in play. Now this come back to bite me? Authorities have arrested a suspect by the name of Roy Vickers of Fort Worth. Dallas News has now learned that a warrant has been put out on Drew Ramos, a 31-year-old Hispanic man who previously worked as a bomb disposal yeah. expert. That's terrific. Because now the entire world knows that the methane rig was sabotaged. And if that's not cattywampus, the two men who are accused of blowing it up are connected to my biggest political contributor. And don't, and don't even get me started on trying to dissect the ramifications of my office issuing an eminent domain order on the ranch land that borders South Fork. Rama's boy lost his nerve right at Roy to the Ewans. They have no evidence to implicate my man, none whatsoever. This isn't the first time you've let your emotions stir the pot, Harris. You bring your daughter over from London to wreak havoc with your ex-wife? What's that get you? Shot? Look, I realize that. Roy's got to pack his bags and go away, permanently. I mean, the governor's going to agree with that. Right, so, what's going on with this, uh, this Ramos guy? We can paint him as a lone wolf that had a grudge against the Ewings. We've got tape on him, right? Buying the bomb making components, chemicals. Which you'll sneak anonymously to the press and to Tesha, and the evidence for the motive will follow. So what do you think? This whole thing's just going to drive and blow away? I expect it to serve me well when I take over Ewing Energies. Once we prove that Christopher's technology is not to blame, then methane will skyrocket the value of the company. This just accelerates it, that's all. Who wants another drink? The manhunt continues for Drew Ramos, a 31-year-old Hispanic man and prime suspect in the Ewing Energy... I know he's always been trouble, Mr. Bobby, but he, he's not a killer. He would never do such a thing unless he was forced to by other people, bad people. He was forced to. I explained it to them. Carmen, Carmen, we have to talk to him in order to straighten all this out. Come on, no, come on, let's go. 
Pawn or no pawn, there is no good ending to this. You know that. Drew's gonna have to man up. All I know is he better turn his ass in before I get my hands on him. Mr. Vickers, an employee of a transporting storage company headquartered here in the Dallas area, is currently... Elena also said that Ryland is blackmailing Drew over that cargo he got busted for down in McClellan County. You think there were drugs stashed in the cargo? I think we'd better get a hold of the sheriff down there and see if he's still holding it. I'm on it. I also talked to Lou Rose, and he said now that Drew has confessed to the sabotage, maybe he can get Tesha to put a hold on that fine. Well, Tesha's still going to want to interview Drew. Do you think Elena knows where her brother is? No. You sure about that? She would tell me. All right. All right. Question has been answered. Did you make Drew blow up that rig, Daddy? Honey, I warned you about that punk. I told you he was an ex-felon. Don't lie to me. I know that man that they arrested. Roy, he works for you. I've seen him here. You had him use Drew because you want to blame him for this horrible mess. Because you want to take him away from me. He was going to turn himself in. He was going to tell the police everything if I didn't stop. Didn't stop what? He cared about me, Daddy. I care about you. Like you care about Grandma? Where is she? What did you do to her? She's fine. She's at the best orthopedic rehab center in Houston. She's old, brittle, and needs round-the-clock care, and she's getting it. Now, do you have any other questions? You know, all this pain and suffering could have been avoided if you just done what I'd asked you to do. Gone to London, started training to be an Olympian, but you turned your back on me. Started slumming down a South Fork, hanging with a convicted criminal. The end result being what? Being what, Emma? Chaos. And when you create chaos, what can you expect? Consequences. Now, this happened because of you. Because you lost control. I cannot protect you from yourself if you're not here with me. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Well, you look like hell, honey. Are you still taking your meds? No, I've run out. Well, I'll go upstairs and get you some more. What I want you to do for me when you get back to South Fork is I want you to pack your things. Will you do that for me? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Yes. All right, then. The court now calls case F13-75634, the state of Texas versus Roy Vickers. Mr. Vickers, do you understand that you're being charged with conspiracy to commit capital murder and for transporting counterfeit goods? I do. So how do you plead? Not guilty. Do either party have any other preliminary matters we need to discuss before we set this case for trial? Your Honor, it is quite clear that the state does not have legally sufficient evidence to move forward with the charges against my client. The only so-called evidence they have put forth at this juncture is the uncorroborated testimony of an alleged co-conspirator. Mr. Andres Ramos. And where's Mr. Ramos? Well, we are actively looking for him, Your Honor, but he is presently a fugitive. We would ask the court for permission to hold Mr. Vickers for an additional 24 hours to give the police time to find Mr. Ramos. Mr. Vickers, the charges against you are dismissed. The state, of course, retains the right to file charges in the future. Bailiff, please say that Mr. Vickers gets booked out immediately. Next. Bobby, on the phone you said you had something to tell me. Roy Vickers did not return home after the arraignment, nor to his office. He just vanished. 
Ryland's doing, no doubt. Also, since your daddy died, I've had bum following Cliff Barnes, among other things. I guess my father paid you right when he entrusted you with the secrets. Yeah. At their lunch, Pamela persuaded her father to give her one-third of Barnes Global. Judging from your expression, she hasn't told you about that. No. No, not yet. John Ross, I'm not sure what's going to happen with Christopher and his mother. So we need Pamela shares. It would help. Give us something to fight Barnes with. But I'm also not sure if I should ask you to do something about that. Do you love Pamela? This isn't about love, is it, Uncle Bobby? This is about our family, our survival. Hell, I'm already halfway there. Sheriff's Department! The hell? Maybe they found Drew. Mr. Ewan? Evening, Sheriff. Is your wife at home? What's going on? I need you both to come with me. Still under the influence. They found these in her vehicle. She was on her way back to South Fork. She's going to jail. I have no choice in this. You can follow and bail her out. Okay, we understand. Are you all right? Stupid raccoon in the road. They found drugs in your car, Emma. So? Their prescription. My prescription. And where did you get them? That's none of your business. You've got a problem, sweetheart. And it's high time you deal with it. Yeah, you know all about that, don't you, Mom? You told an entire courtroom full of people how you did downers, tranks, antidepressants. That was then. And then was when? When you were what? The same age as me. When you were so screwed up, you took me to the state fair in my stroller and then walked away. You threw me back to my father, to my grandmother, to all of their controlling, suffocating, psychodrama. You escaped, you did four years, I did 20, Anne. I'm so sorry. Just stop being a hypocrite. I am a hypocrite, Emma. I knew deep down you had a problem. But I was so afraid of losing you, I did nothing. And I almost lost you tonight, didn't I? This is not about me. I'm not the one addicted to prescription drugs. You are, and I'm not the one who needs help now. You do. I don't want your help. We have to go. Annie, as soon as she's booked, we'll, we'll post bail. She'll be at South Fork tonight. No. She's not coming back to South Fork tonight. She was driving under the influence. Let her spend the night in jail. What? Annie. And we're not bailing you out until you recognize you've got a problem and agree to rehab. Come on, little lady. Let's go. doing this because I'm your mother. Tell Derek to make sure she can't call her father.
hunting him down like a wild animal. Oh, Mama, don't go there. Hello? Hey, it's me. I, I changed my SIM card so they can't track me by GPS. Damn it, Drew. I told you not to run. There's a manhunt out there for you. Mom and I are worried sick. Ellie, I know they let Roy go. I... Believe me, he's not coming back to work. He's gonna stay down, keep low, and I need to find him. And how the hell do you plan on finding him? I know his habits. I'll find him. <sighs> but I'm gonna need money. Are you the law? You say he, he saved your life. Help him. Ellie is tu hermano. ¿Dónde está? Pregúntale, por favor. Don't call me again. We will call you. Mom and I will contact Joaquin to see if there's anything he can do. In the meantime, Drew, you stay the hell out of sight. Mama, give me your phone. Take mine, okay? Destroy it. Get rid of it. Okay. Get dressed for church. See? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, great. I got it. Bye. Was that Drew? He scared me. No, I haven't heard from him. It was the Dallas PD. What did they want? I called them. I remember that Drew has some army buddies in Austin, so I gave the lead detective their address in case he's hiding out with them. Good. I have to go change. Mama wants to go to church. Elena. You know, sometimes people are lost souls. Your brother just happens to be one of them. Try telling that to my mother. continues for Drew Ramos wanted in connection with the Ewing Energy's methane rig explosion that is now being called Long lunch with daddy Lunch was an hour After that I went back to Barnes Global I got him to give me my Aunt Catherine's shares in the company 33 and a third percent Are you kidding? He just gave them to you Actually, I asked for them. Demanded them if you really want to know. Bet you put on quite a show. You should be happy. Even if Christopher doesn't get his mother's shares, I have leverage now. Why are you looking at me like that? Maybe I'm just seeing double. I don't follow. Well, they say opposites attract, right? Well, that ain't the case with us. You and I play the same game. We scheme, we seduce, we betray. And we've done all the above to each other a few times over. That was then. Who's to say it ain't gonna happen again? Hell, who's to say it ain't happening right now? I say. Sure you do. But who am I really talking to here? I saw how well you flipped the switch in your father earlier. Who's to say you ain't gonna flip it on me again? Especially now that you know JR's plan to take your father down. My father killed my babies. How could you possibly think I could ever side with him again? It ain't your father that I'm worried about you burning. It's me. What's to stop you from siding with yourself now that you've got a major claim in a multi-billion dollar business? I'm not doing that. I give you my word. Well, actions speak louder than words, darling. They always will. What do you want me to do? You had a life here again, another chance. Y ahora qué? What's going to happen to you now? Sorry, mommy. Disculpame, por favor. 
Here's five thousand dollars. Thank you. Here, take this. Number's untraceable. Call Joaquin as soon as you get to Mexico. I'm not going to Mexico until I find Roy. Drew. I told you, I want to make things right. Hello? Yes, this is Christopher Ewing. Hang on, please. Let me get to my computer. Yes, please, go ahead and send it. And will you stay on the line? Thank you. The Dern International Office in Switzerland thinks one of their people saw my mother at a bank in Zurich. Oh, my God. They're emailing over a photo now. <gasps> Is that her, Bobby? It's been... Four years since I've seen Pam. And then it was after that car accident she was so badly burnt, covered with bandages. I can't tell. I, I can't tell, son. Mr. Ewing? Hello? Yes. Please keep her under surveillance, but do not approach her, okay? I, I don't want to risk spooking her and sending her back into hiding. Yes, I'll be on the next flight to Zurich. church not enough prayers or candles as far as my mother's concerned i want to go with you to zurich you do after all this upheaval surrounding drew i need to get away from dallas i need to be away with you sounds good Hi, Bobby. I heard about the accident. How's Emma? And uh, where's Anne? Well, Anne's upstairs asleep. Emma's in jail. Christopher and Elena are on their way to Zurich to see if they can get Pam's one-third shares of Barnes Global. At least someone is making progress. Not me. Ken Richards is still under a rock somewhere. And I have been in meetings with bank executives all day, and not one of them is willing to cover our bank loan. 200 million is a lot to ask for, Bobby. Well, JR always said fortune and misfortune are just two buckets from the same well. I know this is hard, Bobby, doing JR's bidding. No, Sue this isn't what's hard for me, but what's hard for me is to think outside the box, to, to do things in a way that I'm not used to doing them, which is usually just straight up and straightforward. I guess that's why J.R. thought he had to spell things out for me. What, what are you talking about? Hubris. J.R. always knew that that was Cliff Barnes' Achilles heel. If J.R. were here with us right now, he'd just smile and say, eh, let Barnes have his day. Let that bastard go all in, think he's won. Let him be the architect of his own disaster. Oh, big brother, as you wish. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. You're doing this because you love me, because you hate your father. I do.
Good morning, good morning. Anybody got a check for $200 million around here? Ha! Ah. Well, you can pay me with or without conversation. I'm afraid it's no can do, Cliff. Oh, okay, well, if you'll just give me the keys to your kingdom, if you don't mind, which I'm sure you do. I wouldn't get too comfortable here, Barnes. Oh, good God, I can only imagine the look on JR's face right about now. Me too.